latest edition of Laugh Out Loud. A showcase of student-produced short comedy skits in the Department of Cinema and Television Arts here at Cal State Fullerton. You may laugh or cry or simply cringe at the bad delivery of a good joke. But for better or worse, these are skits produced and acted out entirely by students with a three camera switch shot live to tape at the CTVA TV studio here on campus. Now let us walk you through the best of the spring 2018 midterm short comedy skit projects. Welcome to the show. I'm Lucas Damaradichin. And I'm Hannah Von Grimp. Our first skit is LMK, Let Mom Know, produced by group members Chase Johnson and Naomi Osuna. This skit features a mother's grief over her work colleague's mourning, and her son helps her figure out her consolation mishap. Although with the current cast, they look more like a couple than mom and son. But let's let our viewers decide for themselves. This is LMK, Let Mom Know. Hey, Chad. Hey, Mom. How's work? <sighs> Not so great, actually. Why? What happened? <sighs> you know my friend Barbara that I work with? Yeah. Well, she wasn't at work today. Her father passed away from a heart attack late last night. That's terrible. I know. When I noticed she was late, I texted her to see where she was. After she told me what had happened, I started to cry at my desk. Mom, hey, I'm... Um... I just... I had met her dad a couple of times at her house before. He was just such a sweet man. I'm sorry. To make matters worse, I think Barb is mad at me. Wait, why would she be mad at you? I don't know. But when I was texting her, I noticed she was starting to get upset with me for some reason. Well, can you tell me what you said to her? Maybe I can help you figure out what you said that might have made her mad. Yeah, sure. So the first thing I asked her this morning was why she was late, and then she told me her dad had died. Okay. And then I told her, Barbara, I am so incredibly sorry for your loss. I can't imagine what you must be going through right now. LOL. What? Why would you say that? Say what? LOL. B because, doesn't it mean lots of love? Oh my god. No, Mom, it doesn't. LOL means laugh out loud. What? Are you serious? Yeah. I, uh, how could you not know that? Well, I, I don't know, Chad. Oh. I can't keep up with you kids and your lingo. Uh, well, now we probably know why Barbara is upset with you. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> Did you say anything else after that? Yes. Oh, God. Okay. Well, let's keep it going, then. Well, after I sent that last message, she said, Thank you, Debbie. I think. Then I asked her how he passed away, and she told me a heart attack. She said it happened late last night, and that it was completely unexpected since her dad was in such great shape. So I replied with IDC. Mom! What? What in the world do you think IDC means? Doesn't it mean, isn't death cruel? Oh, no. Mom, no, it doesn't. Not at all. IDC means I don't care. Are you serious? Oh my god. This explains everything. Yeah. I feel like such an idiot. So, was that the end of it? Unfortunately not. Oh. Well, let's hear it then. So after I sent IDC, Barbara just replied with, okay, dot, dot, dot. I thought her responses were sort of weird at this point, so I wanted to try and console her a bit. So what did you say? I told her, your dad was such a wonderful man and will be missed by many. I only met him a few times, but I could tell he had a heart of gold and was always DTF. Mom, what is wrong with you? What? Oh, my. Are you kidding me? Please, oh please, t 
tell me what you think DTF means. Doesn't it mean dedicated to family? <laughs> Chad, <laughs> this isn't funny. <laughs> it doesn't mean that. Not at all. Mom, DTF means down to... Hmm. Down to what? <laughs> I can't believe you're going to make me say this. It means... It means down to... No. <laughs> oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah, I am. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, I feel like such an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh. Chad, this isn't funny. Well, I, I know. I'm sorry. I. <laughs> Did Barbara say anything after that last message? She said, Debbie, please stop texting me. You're making things so much worse. <laughs> I need to go. Go where? I need to tell Barbara and Tell her that this was all just a huge miscommunication. And get her some flowers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure once you go and explain everything to her, she'll be fine and forgive you. Do you want me to go with you? No, thank you. You can just stay here at STFU. What? STFU? Yeah. Son, thank you for understanding. Uh. S-M-H. Well, I, I can definitely see that she looked very young to be a mother, but oh, you never mommy. know these days. Oh, mommy, yeah. She, it was really kind of looking more like a little Brazzers episode definitely. to me. Could um, have been the beginning of a porn for sure. <laughs> but I also want to let our viewers know that Han and I here and laugh out loud, we are DTF. Always DTF. That's right. Our next skit is Handshake Wow, produced by group members Stacy Roberts and Amy Huynh. This skit is a mock infomercial about lessons on handshaking, among other things. Without further ado, here is Handshake Wow. Have you ever messed up a handshake? Perhaps bruised a thumb? Or even missed entirely? Have I got a solution for you? Introducing Handshake Wow, a revolutionary and affordable 36-month program guaranteed that you will handshake your way to success. Handshake, handshake. Wow. Wow. Greetings, everyone. I'm your host, James the Hand Job, and I'm here with my lovely co-host. Hola, I'm Joanna, touching my booty. Ho, oh, oh. ho, not with these money makers. <laughs> They're insured for $300, hence the protection. That's why you're the best. I really think your program will help me and our viewers with something that I know I have trouble with, sealing the deal. Perhaps you should buy them a drink first. <laughs> no, silly, I meant handshakes. <laughs> Back at the office, they call me Limp Wrist McGillicuddy. That's nice. <laughs> No hand job too great or too small is what I like to say. With my Handshake Wow program, I'll have you handshaking your way to success anywhere, any hand. I'll teach you the basics of a good handshake, which, like my manhood, should be firm and sturdy. <laughs> but James, how do our viewers learn at home if they don't have anyone to practice with? Well. That's where our patented and exciting handshake trainer comes into play. Wow. The old-fashioned handy. Wow, look at that grip. 
What about those cuticles? Ladies, I'll bet you'd like to get your hands on that. <laughs> How does it work? Well, I don't want to give away all my secrets, but I can tell you this. All you have to do is shake it until you make it. If you follow along at home with my 250 cassette tape set, you'll be handshaking your way to success in no time. There are such lessons as cleanliness, how to give and receive, a safe and sanitary handy, and the Handra Sutra, a lesson on positioning that surely is going to set you apart from all those other handshake candidates. That must take ages. Well, not really. At 1.74 weeks per cassette, you can know enough to be almost as good as I am. Wow, that seems so easy. But why not use a newer format like CDs or audiobooks? Well, Juana. Juana. An old-fashioned handshake deserves an old-fashioned format, and you need to be committed to the program. That makes sense. Well, of course it does. Because I'm James the Hand Job. But James, does the program really work as great as you say it does? Well, Juana. Juana. <laughs> how about, uh, whatever, how about a demonstration? Stick out your hand. Oh! Wow, no one's ever handed to me like that before. You got the job. Now James, what does a program like this cost? It must be expensive. Actually, it is. All that child support ain't gonna pay itself. But not to worry. With our competitive 47% interest rate and $50 a month payments, you'll have that thing paid off more comfortably and quicker than anyone can say, please, don't break my legs. Now James, <laughs> why don't you tell the folks at home how to order? James. Oh, uh, oh sorry, my, my hand got a little dry, so I, I uh, <laughs> switched to lubricated. <laughs> oh, ladies. Don't ever let your man tell you that he's too big. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> now, if you'd like to place an order, all you have to do is call the number on the screen. One, H-A-N-D-J-O-B. That's one, hand job. So call now and become that firm, strong, confident handshaker that your mother wished she had born instead of you. <laughs> The future is now. The future is handshake. Wow, 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 wow. Our next skit is Love Triangle, produced by group members Cassie D. Joe Fortin, Wendy Garcia, and Zach Slopemaker. This skit is an extremely abbreviated and modern interpretation of the sexual tension and confusion that is Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Here is Love Triangle. I've been waiting for this date for months, and I can't believe that it's finally here. I've been so nervous, I, I haven't been able to eat anything. It took me hours to get dressed, even though I had pre-picked out all the clothes, and it was going to look great, and then I changed it, and I changed it back to what I originally was, so I think I look nice, but I, I think this is gonna go well. Woo! <laughs> Mark! Uh, how are you? The Hi, John. Uh, here, have a seat. Yeah, okay. A seat couldn't hurt. <laughs> Good one. It, was, it would suck if it hurts. I mean, I wouldn't want to hurt. Although sometimes it does feel good. Like, you know, if you're into that. I mean. 
Hi, John. Oh. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Mark, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Oh, I wouldn't miss this for the world. How you doing, John? Do you like my new dress? Oh, it looks tight. Like, not too tight. Like, a cool tight. Like, 80s slang tight. You're not fat. I don't know what to say. Uh, Lisa, your nose, it's looking a little bit shiny. You might want to head over to the restroom to fix that. I'll be right back. Try not to miss me too much. <laughs> oh. Here, let me. John, 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 you don't really, you really don't have to do this. Did I miss anything? No. Not much. You know, Mark, you're not looking too good. Maybe you should go home. No! I mean, I don't want to miss this special moment. <laughs> you are so sweet. Lisa, I think this is your cue to leave. You're so funny trying to get me to go home early. Mark, you should probably get going. No, no I think he's the one to go home early. Yeah. Yeah. Because me and I didn't know I planned this. I canceled my, my, like my, like my something mother's birthday. Sure. birthday. I was supposed to visit my grandma. I looked at the reservation so we could meet today. I put the reservation on. I yelped it. I was like, I need to have some five star food. All right, that's enough. You, you think you're on a date with a guy who just peed himself. And you, you think you're on a date with a girl who obviously stuffs her bra. And you, you think you're on a date with a guy who's so obviously gay? I don't know how you can even see that. Well, you were the one who told me to go for it and ask my crush out on a date. And I thought you meant me. So when you said you were going for it on Friday at 8, I showed up. But really, I meant Lisa. And when you said something about John and dinner, I thought you were setting the two of us up on a date. You're gay? All right, now that's settled. <clears throat> Want to hear the specials? You know, Hannah, I was so amazed by you because you were here, but you're also there. I know, it's incredible. I... <sighs> Yeah. Well, it's all the power of the bread. I was eating that out of my purse, and that's good. Oh, okay. So the bread is like mm -hmm. magic. It's like yeah. kind of like a sisterhood of the traveling pants. That and pants. just the, like the power of the hand job from that skit like, oh, brought right. me here. Okay, so that that's a great point because I find the natural progression of the of the night, you know, starting with sexy moms, learning how to do handshakes from a man named Hand Job, and the beautiful artistic hand job that was water being spilled on the crotch of yes of his character. I just thought it all tied together into one beautiful evening. Definitely. Definitely. Absolutely. For sure. But you know, unfortunately, that's all the skits that we have for this episode. Thanks for watching Laugh Out Loud. I'm Lucas Stammergardichian. And I'm Hannah Von Grump. We'll see you next time.